All right. So now we're going to start with our Veeam availability suite. And all of you are probably familiar with the suite. It's been an innovative, first to market patented solutions that have changed the market. And with our new Aveem availability suite version 10, we're driving that business continuity, that agility to unprecedented new levels. And that's what we're going to share with you uh, while we go through some of these today. We know that our customers, they tell us they're roughly about 75% virtualized on average. And that means that 25% of their workloads are actually on physical servers. Right? We also know that, uh, that due to complexity, compliance reasons, peace of mind, they're really not ready to move off of those physical servers. So what are you doing to protect those endpoint devices as well, right? So whether they're in your business, uh, in the office, whether they're with a uh, remote user traveling, um, those devices are often susceptible th to things like loss, to breakage, uh, to um, corruption, e maybe even ransomware. We all heard about the attacks last week and into this week. So what are you doing to protect those endpoint devices? And then what about your, your uh, workloads on Win Windows and Linux servers that are in the public cloud? Well, you get the idea. What you're looking for, what you need is an availability strategy that's going to extend beyond your virtualized workloads to your physical servers, your endpoints, and those Windows and Linux-based applications. In December, we released our Veeam agent for Linux. Now, today, we're excited to announce the release of Veeam Agent for Windows. Now, this delivers backup and recovery for physical and cloud-based workloads, as well as those roaming endpoints, those roaming devices. Your end users are using it for a couple uh, key use cases. One is they need that additional centralized file storage for uh, information that they're, they're saving. Or they might be using it as a collaborative and file sharing tool, uh, working with lots of other folks in, in the organization to share information and, and leverage the data in a way that's going to help them win, help them grow their business. Now, if that data were to become corrupted, uh, accidentally deleted, or again, maybe hit by malware, ransomware, end users would expect that data to be recovered very quickly so they can continue on with what they're working on, get, get work done. So Veeam, in our, ver in our version 10, our Veeam Availability Suite version 10, we're ex significantly expanding our fo footprint of protection to include things like physical agents, uh, physical servers, as well as network-attached storage. Another feature that we want to announce as part of V10, coming, coming later this year. Protecting and managing workloads is important. We've talked about several scenarios there. But ensuring the availability of that data is critical. And Veeam Availability Suite V10 can help with our new Veeam CDP, Continuous Data Protection. So let me ask you a few questions. What's your most important service? Is it your website? Is it your, um, uh, is it your point of sale application? Maybe it's your health, your customer data. Maybe it's um, healthcare, patient records. Whatever it is, if that were to go down, how long would you, is acceptable for that data to be unavailable? Days? Probably not. Hours? No. Minutes? How about seconds? So we've shared a couple business continuity features with you. The physical agents, network access, uh, uh, backup and, um, and recovery, Veeam CDP. Now let's talk about a couple of uh, agility features, agility that's going to help IT to be able to get workloads where they need them, when they need them. And this is a key innovation, a, a key innovation coming in version 10 is native object storage support. So imagine if you were able to take a month's worth of archives and move them off to some less expensive storage, what would that save you in primary backup storage? This is where story, uh, backup, native, story, native support for backup um, uh, storage types will, will come into handy. There's one other V10 availability, uh, availability suite feature that we wanted to share that helps drive agility. So you can see the agility that we're bringing with native um, uh, backup storage. In V10, we're rolling out a new universal storage API with, that will enable select vendors to add additional integrations. And as you can see here on this side, IBM, Lenovo, and Infinidad are coming in V10. Okay, so we've demonstrated several ways that you can drive business continuity and agility, and V10 is a 10 out of 10 for availability.